Following ruthless killing of 147 Christian students of Gerusa University in eastern Kenya and xenophobic uh, violence in South Africa, Ugandan's members of Pan-African movement have joined the rest of the world in condemning the Al-Shabaab and South African youth for the criminal actions subjected against innocent people. Members made these pronouncements during the candle lighting in remembrance of 147 students slain in Kenya Garissa University and those killed during xenophobia and violence in South Africa. The function was held at Pan-African offices at Kalitusi in Katwe, a Kampala suburb. Members of the Pan-African movement, led by S Samuel Ereu, intimates that disrespect of humanity is one of the problems of human society that has led to disunity among different ideologies, cultures, and religious denominations. Pan-Africanists are calling for vigorous measures to end the wave of terrorism acts in and outside Somalia and xenophobia on foreign blacks living in and working in South Africa. I believe it shouldn't exist because Ata ikiwa ni muzungu, akiwa hapa Afrika, we share the same blood. So let's take each other as brothers and sisters and also the political leaders. Before you communicate something, first analyze it before you communicate to, to people. The Secretary General of Unity in Diversity, Isa Kirarira, says in the increasing pluralistic societies, more interreligious and intercultural dialogue and cooperation is needed if conflicts fueled by tribal and religious as well as cultural differences are to be constructively addressed. Only thugs, people who have uh, uh, in human heart can decide to hurt one another, yet the world has become one. We no longer belong to countries. We no longer belong to our families. We no longer belong to our tribes. We no belong to humanity. Our first identity is humanity. These boundaries you are seeing, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, they are only there. We should only celebrate them so that they can guide us, but not to divide us. The ongoing xenophobia attacks on blacks from neighboring states working, working in South Africa erupted in Durban town two weeks ago and spread to other parts of the country, including Johannesburg, with a known number of people killed and several displaced.